Yo, what's up guys? It's me, Legendary Gojira and FNAF 1964 here, and today we got the Playmates Kong with Beast Glove and the Scar King with Whiplash. Let's take a look at the packaging first. Okay, so for both of them, it's basically the exact same thing, you know, um, Godzilla photo and Kong photo, Godzilla and Kong photo. Um, the back then shows the Kong figure. Here's a little read for you. It says, Armed with his ancestral axe and his prototype battle gauntlet that enhances his earth-shattering primal strength, Kong enters the battle packing a meteor impact with every punch. And there is his beast glove. I think it's like bio enhanced. Oh, it says it right there. Bio enhanced autom automatic seismic thunder glove. The beast glove. Where's Kong? And then here's Scar King on the back. The evil Scar King rules with his fiery hollow earth kingdom, welding a whiplash and commands an unstoppable army to destroy Godzilla and Kong and conquer the world. He also has a removable whiplash. Also, something interesting I learned is down here, um, with all like the photos, Scar King's not there. And when you look here, Kong's not there. So, you know, they at least switch it up with all the packaging. And with that out of the way, uh, I think we should look at Kong first. All right, and here we have Kong, who I definitely didn't get out of the packaging before this video. Um, so this is Kong with the beast glove, and he's got this little heave dr drone little guy down here. So it's kind of cool. Okay, so I said this in the last video, but the detail on these new figures, especially for King Kong, is actually insane. I'll, I'll throw in like a little photo on the side of what the original looked like, but this guy is just, you can see the individual furs very well. You could see like the detail in the scars. I heard someone else compare this to a NECA figure, and I definitely can see it. You got a little bit more uh detail in his mouth um fun fact though the the tooth there is actually wrong he's supposed to have a silver tooth if you look in this um promo image that's on the side somewhere over here um yeah he's supposed to have a silver tooth i think uh scar king here is gonna knock him out or something and break his arm and cause him to get the beast glove and a silver tooth um let me show you the back the back you got his cheeks, you got his legs. The legs look a little bit awkward from the back, but I'm not complaining. And you got some more extra detail on the beast glove. That's very welcome. Other arm is, it's all right. Not, not too much detail. And he's got like a, uh, kind of like a cape design. Someone compared him to a uh, silverback gorilla. And I, uh, yeah, I definitely see it. I wanted to also specifically highlight the beast glove in this segment. I don't know, it reminds me of Wally for some reason, especially in the trailer. Maybe it's like the the brown and yellow color scheme. I think it's pretty cool. I like what they did here with the joint. That it's like a part of the Thunder Glove. And it's like the joint of the figure. That's actually pretty smart. Uh, I, I do really like the... I do really like the glove. I know a lot of people don't like it, but personally, I think it's pretty cool. So that's comparison time. Playmates 2021 Godzilla vs. Kong Heat Ray Broth Godzilla. Playmates Shimo sitting and standing. Playmates 2024 Evolved Godzilla. Playmates 2024 Battle Roar Kong. There is a huge size difference here. This guy's a bit taller. This guy's a bit short. Overall, I'd give this guy like a 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10. Really detailed figure. Well made overall. Uh, comes with this tiny accessory I'm never going to use. Um, only reason why I lowered it, can't hold the damn axe. Now, I don't know how well this photo is going to show it. Um, Kong does have an open hand. However, the hole they made for the hand is way too small to hold the axe. Whereas the original figures, oops, uh, the original figures was a lot more open. So, you know, he could actually hold the, uh, the axe over there. This guy can't, so you can't have him. You know, hold the axe and have the beast glove at the same time. Kind of sucks, but, you know, still a really good figure. And there we have all of the major Godzilla x Kong and New Empire releases. Minus one. Hey, hey, you see what I did there? You, you see what I did Lanky Kong snip. This Kong's got a funny face snip. Damaging the figure's chest snip. Godzilla x Kong and you snip. That was not a snip. And here we have Scar King. Detail-wise, I think he's a little bit less than Kong, actually. I like the little 
I like the little white highlights. I think those add a little bit of detail. There's like no fur detail over here on his arms. And like same thing under here. Like, you know, he's got like the, uh, the orange detail there, but like otherwise, nothing much. Um, here is his face. You can kind of see his, uh, blue eyes. For some reason, they're making him look really upward for some reason. Uh, with his mouth, he's got a nice bottom row of teeth that have, like, two different, uh, two different tusks kind of sticking out of his mouth. I think that's actually a really cool detail. Uh, you come down here, he's got kind of, like, a war pattern going on. Kind of reminds me a bit of Kratos from God of War. Um... His hand is, again, small, no axe action. Um, his legs, not really any paint except for the feetsies, which have um, a little bit of a highlights again. I don't know, I like the highlights. I think they look cool. One thing I don't like though, is how the fur pattern here with the white doesn't really match like the one on the face. It's like slightly different looking for some reason all around. That's probably just cause of like how the paint's applied, but you know. It's a little weird. Dark King's back. There is no detail. Not really any detail at all, except for a little bit on the hands and the hand there. Otherwise, not a much. Scar King here is going to have this little um, whiplash on him, which I'm pretty sure he can hold. Let's get that off of him and take a good look at that. Here you have what looks like either a uh, Godzilla jaw or a Kong jaw. I'm willing to bet that it is a Kong jaw. Um, very well detailed all around. They could have been lazy with it and just made it like a single slab, make it not like really well colored. They could have just made it like white or whatever, barely detailed at all. But no, they like, this is well detailed. This looks like the <laughs> spinal cord, I guess. I don't know. Um, so yeah, jaw there, little connector piece right there. Uh, looks a little awkward there, but you know. It's simple, you just kind of, just kind of peg it in there. Yeah. You get a little bracelet. Something cool you can do is you can give Scar King his whip in his hand. So he can go like, ooh, I'm evil and stuff. And I don't know, you can have him just hold in and look evil. Ooh, I'm very bad and evil. Ooh. Scar King though, I should mention this as a figure, does not like to stand. He is not a standing figure. Uh, you gotta, like, lean him against something, because he is, again, a uh, very lanky design, uh, not built for standing. Also, one thing I wanted to mention that I'm not a huge fan of with the figure is the, uh, the little line that kind of goes across when you don't have the, uh, the bone whiplash on. It just kind of makes him look either really naked or just really, really awkward. Because, like, you know, it's supposed to be there. But, you know, it's not. Size comparison. Big monkey. Slightly smaller monkey. Big monkey. Godzilla. Another Godzilla. Sitting Shimu. Big Shimu. Now, after owning all of these figures, the Godzilla, the Shimu, the Scar King, the Kong, I'm going to be honest. With um, what I have from this range, I think it's actually pretty cool. Um, a lot of the figures are really detailed or come with cool paint schemes or really cool designs and little accessory pieces. Um, I don't know. Honestly, I'd say the, all these guys are worth picking up. Um, if you could stand them up. Hey, I got them up. Oh. Um, um, yeah, all these guys are worth their money. I got the, uh, two pack there at Walmart for like $20. I got Kong here at Walmart for like $10. And then again, I got, um, Star Scar King at Target for like $10. These guys are at Target right now. Go buy them there. That's the easiest choice. Also, because this is pretty cool. Uh, the uh, Playmates King Ghidorah. He was originally a uh, either an Amazon exclusive or a UK exclusive. You can now find this guy in, in uh, Target. So, yeah, go pick him up when you get the chance. Overall, I give this whole wave a... Uh, I'd give it like a 9 out of 10. 8 out of 10. There's room for improvement. You know, better articulation. Give Godzilla neck articulation, uh, just a little bit more articulation everywhere. Shimu, love the paint job. Wish this was the um, first release of the figure, not like the uh, two-pack release. Scar King looks really cool. Again, paint job could have been a little bit better. Could have been a little bit more detailed. Um, and Kong, 
peak King Kong figure. Overall, yeah, go be these go buy these guys, you get a chance. Woo!